Hi everybody, today's video is a C-sharp Blazor video. DataJuggler.Blazor.Components has passed 200,000 installs, so I made a bunch of new improvements, and I'm going to show them to you in this video. Sadly, out of over 200,000 installs, there are only 7 likes. So if you think this project is worth the free, please leave a star on GitHub or subscribe to this video. I mean, subscribe to my channel or like this video. That's all my begging. Now we're moving on. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I have a sample project here called in touch and I'll put the link to this in the video description and I'll go ahead and give you a very quick tour and then we're going to add a calendar to show you some updates to the calendar component. So first I'm going to show you this is the grid right here. Right now you have to add the columns programmatically but it's real simple and you can look at the code in this project to show you how to do that. Okay, the biggest change in this update is this used to be called the validation component and that was confusing. So I renamed it to text box component because everybody knows what a text box is. And all of these are text boxes except for this one is a text box in multi-line mode. And there's also password mode you can set to true. But I took the checkbox out of the validation component, and now I created a checkbox component to make it simpler. And it's the same checkbox that is used here in the combo box in checklist mode. So if you come over here and select a couple of, uh, you know, contact preferences or the way you want to be contacted and click on that. And I just recently updated this too to where as you check these it displays. Now this wouldn't work if you had, you know, a whole bunch of items, but anyway, works for this, so... Okay, and this is the, uh, this part right here is actually part of datajuggler.blazor.file upload, but it's included in this project. And then finally, this is the, or not finally, but this is the uh, combo box. You can either like type T twice to get for, to Texas, or I'll just hit N a few times and get back to New York. And, or you can click on it here and scroll down to the item you want to select, so it works the same. All right, and then this is the calendar component. The calendar component is one of the reasons I love Blazor because all of these are buttons. And you can, you know, select any date or you can also uh, scroll back a year or a month, you know, forward or backwards. And that all works great. Notice this particular, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, calendar doesn't have the year selector enabled. By default, the year selector is disabled. But all you have to do is put the parameter allow year selector and it becomes a button. And I'll show you that in just a second because that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a, uh, a calendar with the year selector in just a second. So and I'll go ahead and just close this and I'll show you the info box. That's one other thing that's relatively new. The information box is just a box that looks like this. And these are all items that you can add programmatically. Um, an item just has a caption and a text value and or optionally an image URL can be included. And also I learned something new this week thanks to Bing Chat, which surprised me, but or not this week, but a couple in the last couple of weeks. If you want to, let's say you have a component like this, this is an information box, and you want to allow a user to add their own components to your control, then there is a property in Blazor called Render Fragment, and I will show you that in just a second, but that means with this, there's a property now on this control called Body Content, and you can add your own HTML components, images, anything, text, anything you want. And this here is the new time control. The time control is real simple. You can just type in a time and tab out of it or click out of it. Or you can, now if you type in a time that's like invalid, it's going to turn red on you. And that's thanks to a delegate that I created <clears throat> this week just called on text chain. So if you ever need to do custom validation on your time components, you can just put this on text change delegate and it will uh, automatically uh it gives you a callback and you can do things like this really simply. It's the same thing with the minutes. If I put 85 minutes, it's invalid, but if I put it back to a valid value, oops, I didn't type that right there. Okay. And to toggle the AM PM, you can double click on it. Now you can, there's one option called time type. And if you put hours, hours 24, 
is the option is kind of like military time then this could this would change and you won't get the amp and selector but we'll just leave that but that's all i'm going to show you for this and now what we're going to do is add a calendar to our component but before i add a calendar this is the uh, contact editor that i'm working on let me close everything else there we go so i'm down to just one thing to focus on okay what i want to do here is I'm going to add a div right here, and this is going to be for our uh, birth date calendar. So I added a field to the database called birth date. So we're going to say div class equals, and I skipped ahead a few things. I want to show you very quickly how to set up your project. So I already have this project set up, but if you ever want to set up your own project, you might want to know that. So sorry to skip around, but I forgot to show you this. So if you come over here to, uh, first thing you do is, of course, manage NuGet packages. And I already have this installed, but just browse for datajuggler.blazor.components and add it to your Blazor project and Blazor server project to be specific, and you are good to go. Okay, and once you install it, open up program.csharp. And you will add a using statement for Blazor styled because the components all use dynamic CSS and they use Blazor style to do that. And here you need to say builder.services.addBlazor styled. After you get that set up, one other thing that's very useful if you open up the host.cshtml in the pages folder, notice this link here. You can copy it from this project and it's also on GitHub and the README. But this is the link to the CSS class that's included in datajuggler.blazor.components NuGet package. And I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So what I'm going to do is, that's why I showed you this, because what I want to do is I'm going to create a div. But you can see here I've kind of got this, I'm going to just call it an HTML hack because I probably designed this page wrong. But I wanted my button above my image, so I kind of push this uh div here up 400 pixels and you can do things like that and i want to go up a little bit more i'm going to just guess it up 500 and then we're going to say width 240 and all these are classes that are part of that css class i just showed you so that's and then we'll say height uh 128 and let's see uh, right oh we'll guess it about 320 and background color orange okay and that's just so i can see where this is going to show up i just want to see where this div is before i start uh, putting the calendar on there so this shouldn't take but just a second okay so i'm not too far off on the right but it's way too low so we're gonna bump it up on the right so let's uh okay so we'll go with we'll make this like up 650 and we'll make this 260 maybe that's too much let's just see where that shows up okay perfect i'm going to just say that was perfect okay all right so now what we're going to do is get rid of the background color because that was just so i could tell where my div was and next, what we're going to do is copy one of our calendar components. So here is a calendar. Now, there's a couple of important properties here to show you, the first of which being the name. If you have more than one calendar on your uh, page or component and you want to register it with the parent, uh, you need to have the name be unique. So we're going to set this name to birth date control. See, I've already got that there. I was. All right, and then now what we're going to do is see this parent equals this. This is very important. This is how this component, when this property gets called, says, Hi, parent, I'm a calendar component and my name is birth date control. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what happens. Now, when the, uh, and then the parent can store the reference to this, and then after that, this component can talk to its parent and vice versa. So that's just a, and you can also do that with pages. I'll show you this very quickly because I think it's cool. Maybe you will too. But if you look at our index page, uh, actually look at, there's a class called, let me go to share, the main layout. 
this is index page and here I've got parent equals this so I can actually talk to the main layout and the main layout can talk to pages so if you ever have more than one page and you want to be able to talk or share objects you can just store your objects on the main layout and then all the child pages can just in, uh, use those read-only properties so it's a great way to have you know the entire site can share the same data which is why I love Blazor. Okay, anyway, I just thought that was cool to show you that. Sorry to get sidetracked. Okay, so now that we have our, oops, let me close this down, close that, and that. Okay, so we have our calendar on the page. We've got to change a few things. The caption, I'm going to scoot this. This is not the follow-up date. This is birth date. And then next, I'm going to change the calendar top and we're going to just go up a little bit and the calendar left. By the way, I cheated when I showed you the orange text box. I've tried this before and I know what values to type kind of. Okay. And we're going to make that negative 220, I think is right. Okay. And I think everything now looks good and we'll go ahead and before we register our calendar, we need to store it though. So this is the contact editor's code behind and all this calendar component, birth date, control. This is Regionizer. It's my one and only Visual Studio package. You don't have to use it, but I'm a regionaholic. Hi, Corby. Actually, I don't go to meetings, so that's for quitters, but all right. So now we got our parameter. Oh, we don't need parameter there. Sorry, that was just force of habit. All right, so now let's go to the register method. Actually, we're going to do one more thing with birthday control. This is another reason I like regionizing. Create has property, and now I can just say has birthday control instead of having to uh, type birthday control not equal to null and to see if it's been registered or not. So now we're in the register method. If I can find it, there. And I'll come down to the calendar section somewhere here okay calendar component we're going to copy this right here and i'll say if birth date control okay so now the birth date control is registered with the parent now there's two more things we need to do before i show you this a few actually, but one we're going to go to the display selected contact method. And let me find where we, here it is. Uh, okay, here's the date controls right here. I'll just put it right here. If has birth date control. Birth date control dot set selected. Actually, we'll even do it the way these others do it. I'll just copy this. And the reason it's like this is my data tier creator, datatier.net, doesn't handle null dates. It's been on my list for 15 years, but I never bothered with it. I just use 1-1-1900 for a null date. And if this year is greater than 1900, it's a real date. And that's going to be the birth date control. And that's going to be selected contact dot birth date. Okay, so that was that was the display. I'm going to turn on my auto commenter. It's already on. Hit Control Shift, and that comment was typed for me. And now I'm going to switch over to the save method. All right, and somewhere here. There we go. We'll just say contact dot birth date equals birth date control dot uh, select a date. And that really needs to be a if has birth date control to be a. I just happen to know it's going to be registered, but in case this somehow got called there. All right, let's do it. That was just. I'm, I probably should do that for these, but I already know all these is going to be registered. So I'm, this is just a little demo project, but okay. So we'll close all that down. So now that works. 
So now I'm going to show you a few more things we need to do. Or we're going to say allow year selector equals true. Okay. So now if I run the program, I'll just show you where the calendar is. We'll take a look at it. Okay, so here's our birth date. Now we have uh, allow year selector is true. So notice if we click that, now notice the decades and the years that show up are not visible. So what we're going to do is change that. There is a property. You can either set the year selector left and year selector top if you want to be very specific, but there's two built in. You can say year selector alignment equals year selector alignment enum dot on left. And if you put it on the left, oops, not the colon. Now if I run it, the year selector is on the left hand side. And you can also, you know, if you want to put in the left and right, do that. But now it shows up over here. So that's just an easy way. Now if you select the decade, and then you select the year, this all gets updated and you can, you know, scroll through from where you're at, you know, whatever you want to do. So that is the basics of uh, datajuggler.blazer.components. I Let me know what you think. I think all these updates are a really good improvement. If there's, I'm trying to build a website to get the documentation and, you know, set up some demos of how to change properties and things like that but i don't have that much time between a new puppy and an old dog and jogging and my job that i'm trying to keep it's uh my, my free time's limited for even though i've got all the time in the world but thanks for watching let me know what you think and if you think this project is worth the price please leave a star on github all right sorry to beg but i feel like it's worth I work hundreds of hours on this stuff, and at least people can leave a star if they find it useful, if you have 30 seconds. All right. Appreciate your time. Have a great evening.